Right, I'm gonna open the door. Oh, I'm so nervous. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Supercars of London. I hope you um, are enjoying these daily vlogs and I hope that you're all well. And thank you so much for so many amazing comments like I'm trying to get through all of them just just to read them like I, I'm trying to just take them all in because it's insane the amount of the amount of comments that there are that one want to see my girlfriend <laughs> two want to see more of the lifestyle the challenges the, the sport stuff oh, it's it's insane I've started the day by going down to the post office because I wasn't in to collect a parcel I want to start today with a little niggle that I've had with this car now everyone knows that fuel petrol diesel is the most used source of i don't know where that sentence was going but diesel and petrol goes into all of the cars electricity however isn't in every car yet which makes it difficult or makes it more of a mission or a chore to have to make sure that this car is charged up for the next journey. I've been to London yesterday, I drove around in London yesterday and then drove home and I felt that I didn't have enough battery or charge to go back into London today for a meeting that I've got which I'm en route to now. So I needed to charge my car last night and being a supercar spotter with a car now, I decided to have a bit of a late one and I went home at about half past 11. So at midnight, I was rummaging around my house trying to work out the best way to charge this car. It's great if you've got a garage next to um, your house with a main socket in, but if you're like me and you don't have a garage, um, all of your main sockets are actually in the house. The only way that I could charge this car was if I left my front door and porch door open so the cable could run through both of them. Now, that isn't the most safest way of leaving your house overnight, regardless of where you live. Anyway, ran over. Um, I'm sure that just because this is my first ever time charging any vehicle whatsoever, um, that that is why I mucked up or I didn't find it as convenient as filling up with fuel because I do that pretty much every single day when I had the RA. Anyway, the vlog is edited. What the hell was that? I don't know if you can see this. Did you see that go past? If you can identify that, that is amazing, but I couldn't, and it drove past me. You've literally just got a background shot of it driving past. I had an awesome day yesterday. The first day with the BMW i3 was a lot of fun, and I'm hoping that today is gonna be just as fun. I'm heading back into London. I'm not going anywhere near Knightsbridge, and I have been told and warned that there are the tube strikes going on, which means that at London after half past six tonight, there's no tubes running, no underground service. It is gonna be utter chaos. So I need to get out of London before that happens. So, it looks as though we have arrived. And I'm sure many of you will know the name or brand, Prinderville. So we're gonna go in, have a look, and um, well, I'm gonna have a meeting and then I will show you around some of the cars. It's been an interesting trip, to be honest. Like, London is quite busy. This is like, yeah, definitely East London-ish sort of way. Found it quite easily. So uh, now it's time to put the parking brake on, put it into park here, press start stop, turn it off, let it roll back so that it kicks in, and then press it again, and then that means so it is I've skipped one hour um, after my meeting right here at Prinville. This is actually a very, very famous parking spot. For those that follow Auto Trader or Piston Heads, will have seen so many cars parked in that space for all of their flagship pictures. Anyway, my car, or the BMW i3, is there, and it is in between a Porsche Cayenne, which is one of my favorite four by fours, and then, oh, almost getting run over here, and then every single other person's favorite four by four, including Aline, including Tom, TGE, is this. This is the Prinderville G-Wagon and it is being completely refaced on the front here. Look at the carbon weave. Look how aggressive this thing is. I literally am speechless on this car. Utterly speechless. We 
we take it around the back, it's, just, it's literally just got carbon fiber everywhere. So this is like the car that they have parked outside and inside they have got, are you ready for it? You would have seen it on my Instagram already. I don't know why I'm trying to make a big deal out of it, but they have got the only physical LaFerrari for sale in the UK. And um, you might be able to catch a glimpse of it here through their frozen glass thing. Oh, look at me. Oh. This is where I was sitting for my meeting with this view. I mean, how are you supposed to concentrate when you've got a LaFerrari within touching distance? This thing, well, it's on charge because as many of you know, this is actually a hybrid. But this thing, from every single angle, is just ridiculous. I have just been given this. I've never even opened the door. But it's here. Make sure the carbon fibre doesn't hit the other Ferrari. What the hell is going on? I am currently sat in a LaFerrari. Let's put this down. Put the camera up here as if I'm filming the series of my second supercar. Coming soon to Supercars of London, you can see me driving a LaFerrari. <laughs> imagine, just imagine, this is limited edition, one of 499. And this is a uh, red with a red interior, as you can see. Um, wow. I just don't really know <laughs> what to say or talk about. It's just got such a nice balance of Alcantara, carbon fiber, got the driving zone here. This is the point of view of the LaFerrari. And down here, you've got all of the reverse auto and oh my god launch control in the LaFerrari got the Italian flag here and this one has just got LaFerrari down there and there and this thing is insane but ladies and gentlemen I still have the key I'm gonna put you guys there Put my foot on the brake. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I'm so nervous. Press the engine start. I'm scared to take my foot off the brake I'm gonna, in case it rolls forward or something, but oh my god. I'm in a LaFerrari. I just started up a LaFerrari. And I just, uh, I'm not gonna rev it. I'm not gonna rev it. But oh my god, this is the first time that I've really been able to reflect on sitting, having the key to a LaFerrari, sitting in it and starting it up, being a person that fires up that V12 on cold start as well, in a showroom, so in an enclosed space as well, which um, is insane. I'm gonna be doing a lot more cool stuff with Prinderville video-wise, um, and also having access to a car, so an amazing LaFerrari. Like, this is a dream come true. Whoop, nippy, nippy, nippy. 
eight months it's taken to do this LaFerrari video and fingers crossed it is going to be happening next week. So uh, guys, I feel like, I don't know what I feel like, a seal that's just escaped a shark attack. I have escaped London and I am on the M1 home, albeit it is pouring it down with rain. I didn't get stuck in that bus traffic, I didn't vlog too much, you may have seen from Instagram that I was stuck in a bit of traffic. I can't wait for what is to come, plans that are on the go. I always feel like I'm keeping a secret from you guys with all of the stuff that's looking forward into the future, uh, but trust me, it'll be worth the wait and fingers crossed we can grow, we can get stronger and the Supercars London community can continue to grow. I mean, imagine half a million subscribers. I always look up to huge YouTubers. I just looked at KSI's um, Twitter the other day and he got his um, what $10 million diamond play, play button. I was just, my jaw hit the floor. There's just so much cool stuff happening and it's just not all gonna be focused around the UK either. So there's a little hint, I'm not staying in the UK for much of the rest of the year, I'll be completely honest. So um, that is gonna come as and when things kick off. But now the, now the rain's stopping, the day's getting even better. I've, I've started up a LaFerrari. I've escaped London pretty much traffic free and now the rain's stopping. Absolute win. What a great day and I hope this is, uh, turns into a good vlog because I have thoroughly enjoyed filming this today. Him is literally right there, I don't know if you can see him reversing back in his Vauxhall VXR. 55 grand that car, but apparently it's got 580 odd brake horsepower. Here you go, let's just get this Instagram.